At Philadelphia, firefighters found themselves on the other side of a rescue. A total of five people were hurt in this crash that sent the fire truck right through a building. Crews worked well into the night to finally free the vehicle. Action News reporter Corey Davis is live where this happened in North Philadelphia and where there is a fire truck sized hole on either side of that building, Corey. Yeah, Matt, good morning. This is at 7th and Girard, and you can see there those two holes that are now boarded up here at the building uh, that is in danger of collapsing. There are some posters posted around on the doors around this building saying that uh, people cannot go inside. Uh, this is from the License and Inspection Division. Over here, too, further down Girard, some utility, some, some crews have shown up, and this company does a lot of work on gas lines and electrical, too. They're now starting to get set up to do some work out here in front of the building. I want to show you some video. Uh, uh, it was a long, slow process to safely remove fire workers and that fire truck from the building uh, that it crashed into just to, and uh, as they be, as they were trying to be sure that it didn't collapse during that time. Four firefighters were inside the truck during the accident and were being told that two of them were trapped, but were eventually rescued. This happened around four o'clock yesterday afternoon and uh, here at 7th and Girard. Engine 29 was responding to a fire. They had lights and sirens on when a witness says a car ran through the intersection. The fire truck tried to swerve but crashed into another car, bounced off of a median, and then it went crashing into this residential building. The four firefighters inside ended up having to be treated by their own who did jump into action. It's always emotional when you have to go out to, to rescue anyone from a harmful situation, but you know, we tend to go into a work mode, a work zone mode, where you don't focus on the who, you just focus on the what you have to do, and we get it done. Yeah, and there's a whole lot of work to still be done, too, when it comes to inspecting the building, being sure that it's uh, fortified enough to be to not collapse. Uh, as for those firefighters, we're still trying to get an update on how they're all doing, how those four injured firefighters are doing after they were taken to the hospital. We're also being told that one of the drivers involved in the crash uh, suffered some injuries, but her injuries are non-life-threatening. Reporting live here in North Philadelphia, Corey Davis, Channel 6 Action News.